What up, everybody? So, as you see, the group therapy crew is at a different location today, which is my house. And everybody ain't here. So, it is me, Ruby Red Reese. What up, though? And I also have German Brainiac Brian. Hello. So, if you hear some tingling going on in the background, that is my dog. Um, and we have another dog, so hopefully you don't start barking. Hope we can get through this. Um, I'm not sure where Keeping a Real Kita is, and she's probably going to be pissed because I didn't call her. Because I was like, yeah, we still need to tape, even though some of our members are out of town. They're both out of town doing some things. I guess. Um, so today we are going to talk about these kids these days. And when I mean kids, I mean the, the ones that's going into adulthood. Okay. Me and Jeremy Brediak, we have younger adult children and they just think differently than what we thought when we were their age. Um, it seems like we, we had a little bit more common sense. Would you say that, Brainiac? Yes, I would. Okay. So, I think that they are really not prepared into becoming an adult. And that perhaps is our fault as their parents. Um, these days they're just, they, they let a lot of, oh, I guess I wanna say, um, things that get them down, things that don't go their way, um, certain situations. They just let that bring them way, way down, way, way down. And I don't get it. Like, they can't handle life disappointments. And, I mean, they, they, they take it to the heart. Would you would you say that, Freniac? Yeah, they do. They take it to the heart. They, I, well, it's as I've always said, something that my grandmother told me as a kid. Enjoy being a kid because when you become an adult, it's a totally different world. Right. Unfortunately, a lot of these te young teenagers who are going into the adulthood, they are so in a hurry to become adults, they don't realize that there's a change in how they're going to be treated. Not only by society, but by their, their parents, their family. Because your attitude is, you're grown now. The things that I might have said differently or a little bit less harshly mm -hmm. was because you were a kid. Now you're an adult. So I expect just a little bit more. Not saying that they don't know everything, but your thought process has to change. And that's where a lot of them are falling short because they were such in a hurry to become an adult that, okay, I'm here now. What do I do? Right, right. Not only that, I think that because we coddled them for so long and a, a lot of us, instead of, again, I've said this before, allowing them to learn life lessons, um, we shielded them from those lessons that when certain things come about in their life, they're unprepared to handle it on their own. They, they, they just, they don't have the skill set to handle it. And I don't believe it's all of their fault. I think it's the parents have to take accountability for it. True. I mean, parents, I you didn't want your child to have to maybe go through the trials and the rigors and stressors that you had as a kid. So you did your best to protect them from that. But in that same essence, in doing that, you took away so certain character builders. 
it's weird y'all because normally when we're taping he's sitting across from me and now he's sitting on my right side so i'm looking at myself and i feel stupid because i can't stare at him when he's talking because i'll be staring off a camera we should have thought this through more so y'all gonna have to excuse me because i have to start looking this way because looking this way i'm looking at my backyard and it's not that out there to look at um so how can we correct it now he gonna get up and start walking around y'all this this is some bull oh okay <laughs> so i'm like this is crazy how do you think we can correct it is that better for you it huh? is okay <laughs> Jeez. He gonna sit on one of our hard stools. Let's see how long this lasts. <laughs> if y'all see these stools, they are real hard stools. They butt busters. <laughs> how do you think we could correct this? We have to. Okay. Oh, can it be corrected at this point in time? Yes, it can. It can be corrected. You have to start allowing them to figure out when they make a mistake, how to correct that mistake. Um, you can't hold them. You can't hold their hand through it. Okay. You got a lot of. You got to allow them to experience it. Um, for us growing up, our parents was like, "Well, what, what are you gonna do about it? This was something you caused. What is your plans to get out of it?" Now they might not say, "I'm not going to help you at all," but their whole thought was, "You did it. What are you gonna do to get out of this?" See, I can't. I can't. I can't relate to that because I never went to my mother with a problem. My mother wasn't a hands-on um, in those type of situations and molding me. Yes. Okay. So I can't relate to the um, to the hand holding or even the conversation that you just spoke of because I never went to my mother with a problem. I. I was self-sufficient. Right. But so I just handled things on my own. But that's where the difference is. You didn't do that with the with the girls. You you hold their hand. You continue to hold their hand. I don't believe that it's you, holding their hands because you, I, you, I give them, in my opinion, I gave them the tools. And when they don't use those tools, that's what pisses me off but then, and then then they mess it up so bad but that's the, that I can't help but then go into mother mode and this is how we need to fix it what are your thoughts like first I go what are your thoughts on how to get it fixed okay and then I have to I sit there and I listen to their thoughts on on, on how they believe it can get fixed and I, when I instantly know that's not the correct way of fixing it, where I go wrong at is not allowing them to do it their way first so they can see that that is not the correct way. I instantly just tell them, well, no, it needs to be fixed this way. So I guess that is hand-holding. Not, that, not that's, that that's, that's what I mean talked by about it. When, when uh, I, and I understand you didn't grow up the way some of uh, the rest of us did. I get that. Um, it's, it's, I, I mean, I do the same thing to, to our son sometimes, you know, and stuff. but now lately it's been, <laughs> you got yourself into this. What are you going to do to get out? And, but because they've been so conditioned, mm -hmm. so to speak, that we're going to instantly help them out of it. They don't use that common sense factor to think, wow, what should I have done differently? Because They'll still look you in the face and go, I get, okay, but I still don't see what was wrong. And well, no, I, I can't say that the girls do that totally. Um, they are pretty much, if, if you give them a moment to think about it and put it, put the situation in the basket, analyze that basket, analyze what's in that basket, They'll come back and, and, and have some other things to say and say, yeah, they should have did it this way. They should have did it that way. So I would say they do that more than none. Um, 
I think when they are in their asshole mode, that they act as if what you're saying they don't comprehend. But once you give them a moment to sit back and reflect on the moment, that's when they'll come to to me at least and, and get what I was saying or break the situation down differently than what they were doing in their asshole mode. But I, I don't know if other parents are going through this, and, and, and I'm more than sure a lot of them are. Um, I, I only know the kids that I know, um, and they, they all seem to, to be going through this, entering this adulthood, and not really understanding what that means or what is now expected of them, now that they are in this adulthood. Like, before, as parents, we would let them know, like, you know, you're going to be an adult soon and A, B, C, D and A, B, C, D. But I don't think we all fully explain to them what that means and, and what is expected of you once you reach that adulthood. What I do think is funny is lately I've heard the same commercial over and over again on the radio. I don't know if you heard it, Praniac. It is the Jules commercial. I'm not sure if you guys know, Jules is a, I guess, a vapor cigarette system. And now Jules is trying to raise the age limit to 21. I don't understand that. Once people are 18, they're an adult. They are treated differently by society. They are treated differently by the law. They are allowed to sign up to fight for their country. They're able to even sign up to be a person of the law. How then are you telling them that they can't smoke, drink, Checking in a hotel. Do you know in the United States, you cannot check in a hotel unless you are 21? Well, that, that is amazing to me. That is stupid well, because I can go and fight for my country. I, you can put a rifle in my hand at 18 for me to kill someone under a certain, uh, under, uh, under a certain umbrella, but I can't go check in the hotel. Well, that, that just stems from... Gen and I'm not putting on this current gen generational destruction of that particular um, choice to go get a room at a hotel if you were 18. When we were 18, we could go do it. I remember I, I we were able to go do it. I don't know why. I, I didn't know that until you explained it to me. I didn't. I I never knew. I I never knew. I've never checked in a room under my name until I was 21 or older. Yeah. So I can't say that I ever had any instances that I checked in a room under the age of 21. And, and the people that I was checking in rooms with, female and or male, they were always older than me. So it was always in their name. So it was just... It was never a problem. And, but that's why I said it was surprising to me when you said it. Yeah, it was like, you, it was you like, can't wow. check in a room now unless you're 21. And I don't understand that because, well, again, we could put a, 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 aerial, a aerial assault rifle in this 18-year-old hands and tell him to go kill the United States enemies. But then when he come home... He can't check in the room. He can't well, go get himself a smoke. He can't go get himself now, a drink. I, That's just crazy to me. I agree about the cigarettes and the drinking and whatnot. Because other countries, if you're 18 or older, you can buy a drink or you can get... But Canada, drink. as long... 19 and... That's why I so want to say it's us, 19. That's why I was getting to that. That's why so many of us, when we were younger, used to like to go over to Canada. Because yes. As soon as you hit 19, it was like... I'm going through the tunnel, I'm going over the bridge, whatever. How right. you got there, because you knew it was legal there. 
the only problem you had was you had to make sure you were cool coming back. Right. Um, <laughs> so I agree with you on that part. But what happens is it's just like this season of the prom. You know, a lot of states, I, I didn't know that until someone said it up at, at work one day. A lot of states have made it where they're not doing rentals for prom season. And I think it stems from, as you were seeing, that the, the young young got young men and women that are going over to becoming adults, they don't respect those cars that their parents have signed and paid for. Yeah, but I, I don't think that we ever have. I, I think at in every era we were out there doing ignorant shit that we shouldn't have been doing. But the difference is it's more cameras now. See, yes. That the, is the big difference. The difference they might want to videotape the right. shit down. The the difference is we weren't dumb enough to go say, Rob, take an ATM, open it, get the money out, and then go on fucking social media, Instagram, Facebook, and show, look at the money we just got from grabbing an ATM. Right. If we did some shit like that, it was, motherfuckers didn't even know. You, they didn't even know you had that money because you ain't fuck with it. Correct. And that's the difference. But because there are so many cameras out here, it's so hard to do something without it being caught. You sure. it might not even be a person standing next to you. You could be a person down the street, but they see what you're doing and they film it. And then the next thing you know, it's out. The public can see it. So it's more public. That's what I was looking for. More public awareness of yeah. things that's going on. It could be good. It could be bad. In some aspects, it puts a negative light on certain things. That on, is other, true. on other aspects, it shines a light on things that should be shown. That is true. It, it, we are definitely, definitely in a, a different era now than what we were in when, when we were kids. I could not even imagine if we had this same type of technology, how we would have responded as being the outlandish adults that we were back then. Like, we did some crazy things. And I know, I know personally now, and I, and I really want to say I thought this way then, don't take me. Like, I didn't even like taking pictures unless I was in a club setting and we got up as a group to go take pictures. Outside of that, don't take okay. no fucking picture of me. Which brings me to the biggest phenomenon, right? One of the biggest things that they... How many of them you about to eat? This man popping peppermint, y'all. He getting peppermint high. The biggest thing that they were talking about was the selfie movement. Okay. When that became a thing, millions of people, adult, kids alike, all day long, take selfies. It's what you were saying. When we were growing up, I don't want you taking my motherfucker. What you taking my picture for? Yeah. Why do you want my picture first was my question. Now, if you were with a group of friends or your family, you didn't mind those pictures. Or right. like you said, a club setting. But just out and about, sitting at my desk at work or wherever, at a restaurant, we weren't thinking about taking a selfie. Correct. So it's a lot different. You're right. It's different. Our thing was, when we were growing up, damn, man, you get that new Walkman? Oh, God, that's sweet. I mean, that's what I was saying. Just, just think about if the technology was out then. Do you think that we would have, do you think that it it would have changed how we operated? Or do you believe that we would have operated the same? Now, everybody who don't know, everybody on our show, I got to think about this because I got I to think, think about keeping a real key to I Most think keeping the real Kita is still in her 30s. But everybody else on our show is in their 40s. Okay? We are up their 40s. All right? And I, I'm just wondering if technology, if we had this technology then, would we have been responsible with it? That's that's why because, because we didn't give a fuck back then. Yeah, but the difference was they had technology per se, not as prevalent as it is. That's today. what I'm saying. If we had so, this exact technology, do you believe 
boys. Now think about you and your boys. So yeah, but the, the question will become then, would it still have cost the same amount back no, then? No, just, I don't know about that. Just think about the technology now. Mm -hmm. If you and your boys had that then, do you believe you would have been responsible with it? I don't know. I can't answer that, honestly. Because I, I, I don't know. For some people, I would say... You and your friends. You and your Some boys. of us, some of us, yes. Some of us, hell no. That, no, I would... Some would be... I, I, I could put it on the scale. Some might be 25%. Some might be 50 but then it's going to be the ones that's 150% the opposite direction, right? I, I would say as irresponsible, because we were irresponsible. We were. We didn't, we, didn't, we didn't care. The one thing that we still had, though, was respect for the elders. But being responsible, I mean, we were doing some of the most crazy, man, we did some crazy things back in the day. And posing that picture to me and my group, if if the technology was the same then that it is now, would we have been responsible? I don't think so. I, I think I think we would have been filming some of our ignorant stuff. But I think the difference would have been we might would have filmed it, but because we didn't want everybody in our business, it wouldn't have been posted for other random people to see. And we would have been we were intelligent enough to lock it down so that any random person like our people couldn't share it with another random person. So, yeah, I, I think we would have been and we wouldn't have been. The would have been is we would have still wanted to keep our stuff private to just our group, to the people that was there. and But we would have been unresponsible because we'd have still been filming the shit. And honestly, we'd have still been filming the shit. But nowadays, being if it's a good video or bad video... They want the world to see it. I don't understand that. I, I, I just don't understand it's, that. It's an app. Um, I think when I first joined Instagram, uh, which, it, which it wasn't that too long ago, I, I, I signed up for a Twitter account um, because I went on some website and you got X amount of dollars if you followed them on Twitter. So I signed up for a Twitter account. I have yet to ever sign into this Twitter account. I couldn't tell you what my Twitter name is, password, any of that, because I've never used it. Um, but now it like it's it it's really crazy. It it, it really is crazy because well they put everything on everything. Well, the other thing is you have some parents who don't monitor what their kids are doing. They're just free to do whatever, right? That's true. With, 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 with the technology the way it is today. With us, they didn't have to worry about if you got on a computer, you heard it. It was no denying that that right. long ass noise. And they couldn't use their home. You know, if your parent wanted to pick up the phone, they got that fucked up sound on the phone. Right. Where today, if your children are in their room, wherever, <clears throat> they have access to the internet. And a lot of parents, they don't care what their children are watching or doing. Then you have the other parents who care. And that's the difference. But that is that is, that is very, very true. Those, that is, that those is, children that have a very, little bit true. more tact. When it comes to doing certain things. That's true. To the ones who just was given the the free really nilly to do whatever. Those are the ones that be like, I don't give a fuck what you talking. Just as you said the day of the prime, they didn't care that you were someone's parent. They didn't give a fuck whatever. Yeah. But the ones who had the parent that got into their ass, like, hey, you know, you don't do that shit. That you can see the difference. Yeah. You, it's, definitely, it's, you definitely was able to see the difference. It's, 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 
Children nowadays are growing up way too fast. <clears throat> is it is it fast or are they growing up? Are they fast or are they growing up in a society that just makes them grow up faster? It, it, it's, it's both. Um, you have you have parents who are younger. I mean, yeah. like, it, even now in doing our era, we have people who were young and had kids. Yes. But when you look at the percentage of young adults who are becoming parents, it's a lot younger than what we were. Yeah. You have some grandparents that's been just... Shit, younger than us. Yeah, and and they're asking, and, and and now you're asking this thirty five year old to still be the mother to this thirteen or fourteen year old to your grandchild, and this hey at thirty five you still want to get out there and do your thing. Yeah, so you're not trying to help. Now your kid has a baby, and. I'm still trying to live my life. What am I supposed to do? Yeah. And, and then you got men who go, well, oh, shit. I, I, I'm only, I mean, I, I mean, you 14, 15 years old, and now you got a family. What, what am I going to do to take care of this family? So, do, do, is, it, is it, for me, it's, it's, it's a societal thing because the way technolo the, the, the technology has come a long way, the access to a lot more things. Um, younger people being exposed to things that took us a little bit longer to get exposed to. Some of us, not all of us. Mm -hmm. I can't. I'm not gonna sit here and say it was a bunch of people doing our age doing certain things, but they really were. It's a generational difference. The world is faster, and that's due to the ease of getting access to more things now. Yes. For us, it. it I mean. How many homes had the internet? Had the internet in it, or even fuck that, a computer in their home first and foremost. Do you do you believe that um, that the law has still honestly yet to catch up with how society is ran now? Well, <laughs> yeah, um. Cause you do a lot. You do a lot of video watching and, no, and reading. No, no, I, I, I'll say no because you you have a a lot of laws are centuries old, right? Mm -hmm. That are still on the law books. It's just like uh, certain states riding your bike on the sidewalk is actually illegal. You're supposed to ride in the street. Um, that law should be. I mean, should that still be enforced? No. I mean, back then, most transportation was riding a bike. It's not like that now, right? It's more technology. It's more ways to commit a crime and solve that crime. So the law should adjust to the era that we're living in. Um, this might sound stupid, but even though it was a movie, it's like Sleepy Hollow, where the inspector was using new ways to solve murders that they thought he was nuts. So mm -hmm. now we got... The, all this technology, so the laws have to adjust to that. Because if 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 you if you keep using all the old laws, you can't. It's hard to move forward because you're still relying on century old techniques to battle new age, new age, new age things. So yes, do I believe laws have need to catch up in a lot of a lot of ways? Yeah, they do. Um. I was thinking about this the other day when I was at work and I said I wonder when they're making these laws no no let me let me let me rephrase that I wonder is if there is a position or panel of people or a person that their sole job is to look at all laws and and while they're going through all these laws see if law one is really helping society like does it take place is it is it should this one be written off or or something like that hopefully you guys understand what i'm saying because 
it's definitely some laws on the books that it's like, what the hell? Why is this law even still on this book? And it's laws that has yet to be written that should be written. And I, I'm just trying to figure out what the lawmakers are either A, waiting on, or is it that they're just not knowledgeable enough and honestly, what's going on out here with the technology to be able to write those laws to help? Mm. <laughs> I thought he was going to say something, y'all. I don't know what it is with this patch right here. It is, like, really irritating me because it won't stay down. Um, I will say this. Because the country is still... I have some rough on my nose right here, y'all. Be, be, because the country is still ran by what people would call the one percent or the old money families, it's going to be really hard to navigate that because they still have a lot of influence. Um, that, so, and, and I so, totally believe that, but shit, so the laws, that new money—I mean, that old money—still see what's going on out right, here. Right, but they, but their interest is their money. I'm protecting my money. So those old some of those old laws protect their interests. So I'm gonna do whatever and I And that's who cool. and, and and if and if those one percenters don't want those certain laws to change, but that's you gotta fine. understand those but, those people in law, judges and everything else are depending on those one percenters. No, listen to what I'm gonna say. If the one percenters that run the country because they do, um, or have a lot of influence when it comes to our con countries. Um, if they don't want those certain laws to change, fine. Don't don't change those laws. But you, are, those one percenters, still see what's going on out here when it comes to technology and 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 where it's That's going and 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 how it's influencing. Um, the era that we're living in. So, fine. Don't touch those laws. But fuck, write some laws that can help when it comes to the technology. Like, when you watch, I don't know if anybody else watched Law and Order or um, any crime shows. It's one of the things that always astounds me when they go, a law for that hasn't been written or the law has yet to catch up with the time. Why the fuck not? The no people is... the people who write those laws are living in this time. They not they not living in 1920. They're living in 2019. Write the fucking laws. If they living from if they living from that you know long ago to 2019, I'm giving them some dap. Because that, that per, him or she didn't live a long, you know beautiful life. But you understand what but I'm what, saying. But I get what you're saying. But the problem is you don't have enough people advocating for those changes, right? So a particular law, um, which, uh, like murder is the only law that evolves with time. No right. matter how long ago you murdered someone, it, it stays with you. It could be 300 years from now, you still murdered that person. But other laws say uh, child molestation, rape, they have an expiration date. And I don't think that that's right. I mean, it's, yeah, it's, it's, they, it's, if they had more, I agree with you, if, they, if more people took up the stance on certain laws, we, we, they can get updated. That's, now, that's why, do, why I mean. do you believe that and this is my problem when it comes to people. You're out here advocating for this person to use this bathroom, uh, this person to be able to come to work looking like this. Like, th what the fuck? But we got bigger things but that need to be talked about than you being able as a boy to go to the girl fucking bathroom. But it is bigger things that affects this world when it comes to crime and and technology rather than you deciding that you were born a boy and now you want to be a fucking girl. It, are, it is bigger things out here. Now, 
Don't get me wrong. I am not saying that that is not a cause that should be talked about. That's not what I'm saying at all. So please don't misconstrue my words. What I am specifically saying is that there are bigger things out here that we need to be talking about, but we're not talking about it. Well, or if we are, we're talking about it in such small groups that, as you said, well, here's is nobody really advocating for. Here's the difference. Here's the difference. The LGBT uh, community, they go out. They don't care. They don't care about what people might say about them. They are saying, hey, this is us. Just respect us for being us. And they're going out here. They're going to Capitol Hill. They're going, they to, are. The, they're going to the town hall meetings. They're not just showing up with three or four people. They're showing up in droves of people to show that we're unified, that we need. We're not asking for some special, in some cases, the bathroom thing, I think, is a little over the top. Right. But in a lot of places, they're just saying, hey, if if states allow us to get married, then I should be able, we should be able to cover each other on our health insurance. They're just, they're fighting for certain things, certain rights. As you were saying, other things that should be fought for, you might get 10, 15 people show up. I apologize, y'all. I, I have to make him check on my pooch because I promise y'all if he's eating his mat, because that's what it sounds like to me, then he might go get it. So we're going to put a quick pause on what Brainiac was saying because I got a feeling he's showing on this new mat. No. Okay. This pillow is usual. Bring, bring, Harley, bring Harley to the forefront. Let the people see Harley. Now, I am a dog lover, if you guys didn't know. And this Rambunchkis thing here, this is Harley. He is a full blood, pure blood Pomeranian that is full of spunk. So I'm going to keep him right here. Because if he eats that mat, I'm going to hurt him. So he's going to stay right here with Mama while we talk. So, so we're going to have to figure out what Harley name is going to be. Harley. Harry Harley. <laughs> Peanut butter Harley. So, as you were saying. Well, hey, hey, you, know, you know me. Once I get off of this, I apologize. I, I had to get him because I, I was going. I was going to hurt him. Let me let me just say this. It's sad when more people will show up, and this this goes for kids all the way to adults will show up to buy the latest pair of Jordans, than to show up to get better better treatment and, and changes that will help them be more successful. Right. If I can go out at 3 in the morning and camp out overnight for a pair of gym shoes that, by the way, is being made in another country where them people are making nickels. But I won't show up to express myself and I'll just use this one as a, the educational system mm -hmm. sucks. Sucks. And it blows my mind. If you take a famous person and say, oh, they're going to be there. Oh, now you, you're not there for the reason. You're there to see the person. And that's what's sad. You're not there because you actually are with them and what they're saying. You only want to say, Oh, I went and saw blah 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 talk at this at this gave a speech at the Capitol. Right. And if you ask them, so what did you learn? What did you talk about? What did you come away with? How are you going to take what that person said and implement and implement it? Right. They'll go. I don't know. Some, not all, because I can't say all, but a, a, a majority will be like, I wasn't there for that. I wanted to go see. Hootie and the Blowfish talk. I mean, I just didn't want to use mm -hmm. the name, but that's how it is. And unfortunately, until 
more people actually show up, as you were saying, yeah, it's a lot of laws that need to change and be updated, but we don't have enough people. I, you know, honestly, I, I don't care about the ones that's already on the books. I care about the ones that need to be written that are not written. And that's what's... And, 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 and specifically the ones that need to be written when it comes to the, the technology that's out well, here. They, they, they do have those now with, with the different cyber units. The problem is, in, and once again, it goes back to demographics, the areas that you live in, the areas that are affluent, that have the money, they have the technology. Um, when you go to England and you're in London and you're, you're downtown London, the technology there is, re it's a camera everywhere. Or they can sh push buttons to shut down the whole city where if that, if something happened in the city of Dro Detroit, what button are you pushing to shut the city down? What, what one. Or, or block off, the steel pipes come up out the road to block people off. You're not having that. Right. So it, from your point of view, it's out there. Unfortunately, it's happening more in the affluent areas because once again we got to protect those assets right so we're right. Gonna, we're going to put the most the majority of that technology here you have certain states where they test that technology Texas being one of them California being another so other states have to wait a year two three years to see how it pans out but then it's just it's dished out little bit by little bit by little bit by little bit. But it's going to, we're going to send this to Beverly Hills first. Right? And see how it worked there. Oh, it works great. We're going to send this to the Hamptons. Mm -hmm. But the cities, but the the core city, you won't see them bringing that technology right away to Harlem or Chicago or Philly, Detroit, Portland. So there's the difference. Hell, Houston. You say Portland? Yes. Out of all the cities, Portland. People should really pay attention. There's a lot of crime in Port in certain Really? Yeah. It's 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 funny how um no one is really paying attention. It, it, a lot some people aren't, but just to get back on tangent, I agree with you. They need to, if you're coming out with that technology, make it available for everyone. And even the people that are um, in the emergency field, the rescuers, the police officers, the firefighters, they deserve to have that technology firsthand. Because they're on the front lines. The people in the military, they get it. If they get it, then the front line that's protecting the civilians, they should also have it. And, and and see, that's what I'm talking about. Like, an 18-year-old can sign up to be a police officer, a firefighter, but they can't go check in a hotel? The other, like, that's stupid. What, what gets me is, they didn't start allowing officers to carry assault firearms until that time. Remember the bank, big bank robbery where the they in California, Los Angeles, where the bank robbers had on all the bulletproof material. Was yeah. No. Okay. Well, I back, barely remember my damn age. Okay. So anyway, that Stop it. because these men Stop. had so many assault rifles. Stop it. You're not going nowhere. Had crazy so, dog, crazy had dog. so many assault rifles that they were taking out squads no. of officers that. They had to say, wow, in order for us to fight back, we have to equip our officers with the same type of weapons. Why weren't they given? I got a 9 millimeter, a revolver, a shotgun. These guys are coming out with the M14, M16, right. AK-47s. They got on body armor that's three, four times better than what you're giving these officers. Armor piercing, bullet, whatever the case may be. Mm -hmm. But during that time... They showed how inequipped that the the police were. Even when your SWAT unit comes and they can't take you down because they don't have the type of firepower that these people had, just people who did wrong, mm -hmm. 
then you want to say, well, yeah, now you can do this. Why does it have to take that? Right. But once again, 18 no. years old, no. you should be able to, if you want to go have a drink, have a drink. If you want to buy cigarettes or whatever, buy cigarettes. If I can fight for my country, I should have a right when I come home. If I don't want to stay in my parents' home, I without <laughs> mom, dad, hey, I know I just came from Iraq. Can you get me a room? Right, like, that don't even I, sound right. I just I, came back from fighting this war for my country. But when I come home, I can't even get I'm me a 20 room. Years old. I'm not 21. Yeah, I'm 20 years old, and I just came home from my second tour overseas. And I have to ask my mom or my dad or someone older than me. Because I, I don't want to stay at the house. I want to have my own place while I'm visiting. Can you do this for me? But now, this is what's even more crazier. At 18, I can buy me a car and, and sign my name on the dollar. At 18, I can buy me a house. At 16, you can get a tattoo. At 18, But I do. can't check in a hotel. Yeah. That If that ain't just ignorant. Now, I don't know. Can you be 18 and rent a car? No. I don't see. There we go. So, how? But you can buy a house. Yeah. Hell, you can lease an apartment. You can lease a house. You can, you can lease a car. You can buy a car. You get credit cards. But I cannot rent a car. And I cannot get a hotel room. Well. Asinine. Completely asinine. Well. You guys, I know this was a different flavor than what we normally have. Um, don't forget to click the subscribe button, tap on the notifications so you can see when the group therapy crew again has uploaded another video. Also, if you like these videos, tell your friends. Have them subscribe. Have them hit the notification button. Our goal awesome. this year is to get to our 1,000 subscriber so we can be back going live on YouTube. Or how about this? For the people that have subscribed, we would like to know your suggestions. Mm -hmm. What's your thoughts on what's going on in today's world? Mm -hmm. Please leave a comment and let us know. And we will do our best to work those suggestions into future shows. Also, there are some changes that are coming. Stay tuned. We have a lot of things coming down the pipeline. And we cannot wait, wait, wait. Like German Brainiac to share them pounds. with you. Yes. Me and German Brainiac are on this fitness thing. We are trying to do some weight loss again. Y'all have seen we've done it before. For the people who were subscribed to just my channel alone, um, I believe that a couple that gets fit together is totally eat steaks later on. equipped. <laughs> together <laughs> silly um next week hopefully we'll have the whole entire crew here and yeah so we're gonna end this like we normally end any of group therapy crew sessions with our what good night thanks for no. watching this is my final word. No, what's your final word? He just messed that all up. No, I didn't. Good night. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. And have a wonderful rest of your weekend. My last word. Is, <laughs> what the hell. My last words is, listen, you younger adults. People who are entering adulthood. Understand that society is now looking at you differently. Your parents are now looking at you differently. Also,
we are hearing some things outside our home. We live on the corner house and trying to figure out what these noises are that we hear behind us. Um, also, powers that be, listen here. People who are able to put their life on the line for this country, if they're old enough to do that, if they're old enough to protect their neighborhood, If they are first responders, they should be old enough to run a damn vehicle and especially to check in the hotel. Um, lawmakers, we need y'all to catch up with the times. We're tired of sitting back watching y'all drag your feet on bullshit and ass laws. We need y'all to catch up with the times. Technology is doing nothing but rapidly growing and growing and growing. It is growing. We need the laws to grow with them. This is Ruby Red Reese. This is Harry Harley. And we are checking out and we will catch you later. Peace out. Now let's see if Harley will allow me to do this without him getting in the way. Harley, you gonna say bye? Harley, you gonna say bye? You gonna say bye to the people? Are you gonna say bye to the people? Harley. Hell no, he too nosy. Bye y'all.